time Dr. Nigel Spate. I'm a general paediatrician, worked in the northeast of England and uh, over 25, 30 years in paediatric practice, developed a major interest in paediatric ME CFS. Ended up having seen over 500, five, 600 patients throughout the country and I'm still seeing them today. When I first uh, qualified as a consultant, I didn't know anything about ME and um, I heard my colleagues talking uh, negatively about adult patients with ME. One of my colleagues said, they're all nutters. And then I saw a 14 year old girl in a wheelchair and she told me she had ME and I asked her to tell me about it. And I found that her symptoms were so genuine. I just had to believe in her. And once the word got around that I believed in ME, I had a lot of patients sent to me. Well, it's, uh, we don't understand it enough to call it a definite clear-cut disease. So it's best described as a clinical syndrome. A clinical syndrome is a con collection of symptoms and signs which breed true that you just see them again and again and you can say yes this fits into a pattern. So at the moment it's a clinical syndrome uh, which we is still poorly understood and um, for that reason unfortunately rather controversial. Well the cardinal feature of ME is the symptom of undue fatigue and fatigability. It's not just being tired, it's being tired but it gets worse with physical or mental exertion and it's this worsening after exertion that is the cardinal feature. There are a lot of other additional symptoms which are well recognized. Uh, there can be up to 20 different symptoms all of which are reasonably typical but this cardinal feature is the, is the central thing and it separates it off from just genuine uh, general poor poor health due to other conditions. Well, the, there's a problem there. Some people regard chronic fatigue syndrome and ME as the same. And I personally think it's useful to think of it like that. But the trouble is some of the definitions of chronic fatigue syndrome by some people include other people who don't have pure ME, like simple depression. And this may have led to some of the controversy and some of the uh, arguments about the results of individual trials. But in general, um, it is quite respectable to use the terms almost conjointly and synonymously. Well, I think that one of the virtues of using the term ME or myalgic encephalomyelitis is that it's a very strong term which implies a physical organic illness. That is why most of the patient groups strongly prefer ME as, a, as the label for their condition. And in contrast, the term chronic fatigue syndrome is, in the opinion of many, rather mealy-mouthed and uh, not very strong and can lead to disbelief and uh, lack of support for patients who just get that label. And I tend to see the patient, the doctors who use the term ME are better advocates for their patients and are more popular with their patients than those who use chronic fatigue syndrome. Heeft u een vraag naar aanleiding van deze video? Reageer op YouTube of tweet naar het MECVS Vereniging of mail naar wvp@ ma-cvsvereniging.nl De beste vragen worden in een volgende video behandeld.